Hi everyone and thanks for uh, being with us today. I'm uh, Nasser Khar, CEO of ERP Duo. Um, today I'm taking up some questions uh, with you and uh, just to start on with something um, very basically about um, ERP Duo, how we actually started and all that. Um, well, we have a saying that uh, we wanted to um, create a niche expertise on uh, cloud ERP uh, and to deliver enterprise solutions back in 2014 and um, um, while coming from uh, you know humbleness from the oil industry uh, working with um, overcoming hurdles of uh, of a 56 year old um, oil industry in uh, Norway. Um, we have a focus on um, increasing the quality and uh, also have a high competency on a, on a master's uh, level uh, if, if and where possible. So um, you can say that where other, others deliver uh, quantity we typically leave quality uh, so we don't actually have 10,000 employees yet and probably not in many years uh, but um, so back to the business we have a uh, still strong focus on um, SAP and Microsoft on their uh, for their uh, enterprise um, quality of service and uh, actually competitive in um, anything we do. So we started up in 2015, it's almost seven years ago now, and um, we are actually uh, very competitive when it comes to pricing. Uh, we can actually uh, get lower than um, some of our competitors, uh, perhaps not always, and that's uh, not um, um, the meaning either. Uh, we are fast enough in uh, learning and uh, agile to bo both uh, adapt new um, things and technologies and new uh, um, uh, adaptations um, throughout the market. Uh, we did research on um, uh, machine learning AI just now uh recently and um, working with uh, data center solutions and um, data center information management data center uh, you know hybrid data centers data center infrastructure management um, cloud hybrid infrastructure cloud hi hybrid platforms coming very stronger into um, building platform solutions and uh, probably some other very exciting um, things within our Kavali uh, brand. Uh, so um, I would just like to <laughs> mention something um, that um, we're also working with um, a business and management consulting. And uh, the reason we got into that is that ma some of us have uh, been running companies for 10, 15 years now, probably less. And we have much experience with, um, you know, setting up and drifting um, the business operations, etc., business units, etc., uh, etc., et with business development and commercial development, and just to handle uh, the financial aspects of things, recruiting, how how you you know build up services, solutions, engineering, consulting, advisory, based on the knowledge uh, actually. Uh, from business schools and technical schools. Um, so we also deliver management services, but not that much right now, but the business services as it goes. And um, IT consulting, uh, for sure, that can be um, yeah, project management, solutions architecture, enterprise architecture, application management for um, at a larger scale or, or smaller as well, uh, IT management, IT applications management, IT procurement, tenders, 
data management very very um, uh, much highlighted and um, compliances web solutions e-commerce quite much right now business intelligence or visual intelligence uh, and then um, when it comes to advisory our experience is that um, um, yeah many companies uh, are striving now and then with um, coping this aspect of uh, uh, transforming um, to both new solutions but there are also we have startup companies we have spin-offs we have a uh, joint ventures we have um, um, all these um, emergence and acquisition companies you know um, every year there is a new hurdle for um, um, an industry um, new online banks are coming many uh, oil companies have been um, merging and splitting up um, only in uh, three four years there is a total new ecosystem coming up with the uh, within green tech of course you have uh, oil companies are becoming energy companies and uh, it's not all about uh, oil and gas but also wind tech and you have uh, water tech or sea tech um, and battery tech um, automation etc um, so uh, we were uh, we are actually strong on um, project management throughout um, businesses uh, and also on quality consulting and I think that we are probably not that um, um, hard as uh, yeah, cap Germany on uh, on on some things, um, but on the contrary, probably just not um, fully like uh, Accenture as well because uh, I think that uh, in those settings, consultants may not last for um, many years, uh, like I see in or experience in um, the Nordics here. I think it's a total situation in, um, uh, down in uh, India. They have a total um, of another um, uh, business operating model. They hire uh, on uh, on a ground level and uh, in a much larger quantity. So at uh, last we have uh, also uh, engineering and. Um, yeah, what we call business solutions, uh, which can be both uh, related to operational technology, uh, emerging technology, what we call industrial consulting services, and um, apart from uh, engineering, from the oil and gas with, uh, you know, that can be uh, procurement, cost control, uh, supply chain, uh, quality management systems, ISO systems, uh, Quality assurance, uh, lean and um, uh, corporate management systems, asset management, asset integrity, uh, working in, um, you can say, um, ultra deep um, um, subsea levels, you know, from uh, Three, four thousand kilometers to actually five and six thousand kilometers uh, per the user trajectory um, automation uh, right now in 2022. Uh, but we can also help you out with, uh, you know, software development and uh, lifecycle information, information lifecycle management, uh, IT audit, information security management master data management, uh, concept studies, risk, product and field development, e-learning, training, IoT and uh, intops, AI, uh, predictive learning, predictive analytics. So um, if you want to join us, if you want to 
invest in us uh, if you want to partner with us then uh, please um, look out for us at uh, erpduo.com many thanks have a nice day